Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So courtesy of the official Dokkan Twitter page, we now have the full details for two new LRs coming to the JP side of the game for part two of the five year anniversary. And as it turns out, it's gonna be a new Int LR Goku Black Rose as well as the LR Broly and Chi-Li that we've known about for a little while. And uh, they both look really good. Actually, I'm gonna go even further and say that both of them are absolutely broken. All right, so we're gonna get into the details in a second, courtesy of the homie Goresh. But first things first, let's actually take a quick look at these super attack animations because they are super freaking dope. All right, so we're starting here with the LR Goku Black Rose. Enjoy, guys. Dude, it looks so freaking good. The animations just keep getting better and better. I mean, I don't think it's on the same level, honestly, as the LR Gogeta or LR Vegito, but it's still gotta be like in the top five of best animations in the game now. Especially after this uh, transformation here. Actually, not quite transformation, more like a rage mode he goes into. And I believe this is the transformation or rage rage mode animation. And then the animations after are the rage mode super attacks, the 12 key and then the 18 key, I think. Unless they're this is just like all one long super attack. I don't think so though. I think that was the 12 key. And this is the 18 key. And oh, it's just so well done, man. One thing though that made me a little sad is when I was watching this the first time, right? I was like, this is what the original Rose and Zamasu should have been. <laughs> that victory screen is awesome too. Just like the smugness on his face. One more time, one more time. Just, just watch his face. So the close up of his eye. And then, <laughs> oh, such a troll face. I love it though. Um, amazing animation. Made me a little sad though. Like I said, the original Rose and Zamasu should have had these animations or at least like something on this level. But instead, their animations are trash. Anyways, let's move on now to the LR Broly, Chi-Li, and Lemo. And I actually really like these animations as well. I've heard from a few people out there that, you know, compared to the Rosé, these animations are not nearly as hype. And I kind of get it because you can't compare to Rosé, at least in most cases, right? Because it's freaking Rosé. People just love Rosé. But that being said, I love these animations because I feel like it's more of like a fun LR, you know? It's more about like a friendship and the dynamic between these three characters, which I really enjoyed in the movie. And come on. <laughs> It's still Chi-Li. Yo, look at that running animation. How smooth is that run? Yo, one sec, one sec. Let me back up. It's weird, but like that that run is probably one of the smoothest animations in the entire game. That close up too? Can't go wrong with that. Like how, how smooth is that run? How much time did the animators put in to just Chi-Li running in? And then the victory screen we get at the end too. That victory screen is probably one of the best in the game. The whole okay thing, and then the pose, the chi Lai booty, it's just perfect. Everything about it is perfect. <laughs> I love it, man. So now that we've seen the animations for both of these units, let me know in the comments down below which one do you prefer, right? Just from a purely aesthetic perspective before we get to the actual details, because as I said, multiple people have told me they do prefer the rosé, which I, which I get, but I, I just love that Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo card too, man. I, I think it's really fun. It reminds me actually of the GT Trio, where it wasn't about these big explosions and everything. It was just like characters having fun while kicking people's asses. I think that's pretty dope too. So uh, yeah, let me know. I'm curious to see what the you know consensus is going to be. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, regardless of who you choose, they're both 
absolutely disgusting units and they're both gonna hit extremely extremely hard so you can't really go wrong with either one all right so i think that's enough so let's move on to the homie goresh's page where he has so kindly provided us with the english translations so uh why don't we start here with the rose first and you guys will quickly learn why he's so just disgustingly broken all right so his leader skill is future saga key plus four hp attack and defense plus 130 percent or extreme int key plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent his super attack the 12 key is holy black kamehameha which greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and the 18 key is holy light grenade greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and his passive is attack and defense plus 66 percent which is fine but also gains an additional attack plus six percent per key meter up to a max of 120 percent if you guys are confused right now you don't understand what the key meter thing is don't worry i was in the same boat i had to look it up so basically um a unit's key meter at least for an lr goes from 1 to 24 right so you know every like little bar in the key wheel is one meter so every key that the goku black has will give him an additional six percent attack so when you have 20 key or more you'll max out at 120 percent additional attack but even when you don't give him any orb so let's say he starts off at like 10 key right with his links and the leader skills that is already an additional 60 percent attack and then you just give him a few more key and he'll max out at 120 percent attack so that's in addition to the 66 percent attack he already gets on the first part of his passive which is just ridiculous like the numbers this guy's gonna be putting out like i don't even i didn't want to think about it man it's, it's gonna be a lot i haven't done the calculations obviously i haven't done a showcase or anything like that but I can tell you right now, he is probably going to be among like the hardest hitting units in the game. No question. It's going to be it's going to be stupid. Okay, so there's that and also he gets key plus 2 when delivering the final blow, a max of key plus 6 and recovers 6% HP at the end of turn when receiving an attack. So he's going to hit super super hard. He is key self sufficient giving himself up to 6 key and also heals you a little bit at the end of turns when he gets hit and uh, he also greatly raises defense on his super even though it's only one turn it's going to help him um, tank attacks a little bit better and he also has the rage mode like i said so the conditions for this is kind of rough all right it's, it's kind of rough so starting from the sixth turn when hp is 66 percent or below so six turns is a lot it's uh you know quite a few turns but also you have to be, be below 66 percent hp which is not the worst restriction but uh it's also a, a bit of an annoying restriction i'd say so I, I i really wish there was no hp like if it was just six turns it's still quite a bit but at least manageable but now for most okan events you're not gonna see this transformation so that's kind of sad um and oh one thing that he didn't mention here which he later added on is that when he goes into rage mode, he also has attacks effective against all types. So he's gonna hit even harder because of that. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's such a, such a ridiculous unit. And his links are Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Future Saga, Realm of Gods, Patara, Time Travelers, and Kamehameha. So that is the Goku Black Rose so so strong man like at least damage output wise tanking wise like defensively he's gonna be okay like not terrible but not great but i think the just outrageous amounts of damage he's gonna be putting out is gonna make up for that so that is the goku black let's move on to the broly chilai and lemo uh here's the card art i really like it with chilai on the top and then broly here trying to learn the little hand sign and uh, also Lemo at the bottom, just third wheeling them, I guess. It's fine. It's cool. So their leader skill is movie bosses, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, or extreme fizz types, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. So that's kind of interesting. Broly, it seems like it's going to be a extreme fizz type. Hold, hold on. Let me, let me uh, look at these symbols real quick, just to be sure. So yeah, that looks like the extreme symbol, right? So... I believe Broly's gonna be Extreme Fizz, which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess for most of the movie, he was kind of like the 
antagonist, but I don't really see him as like a villain, you know what I mean? It, which is, it's kind of weird to me that he's extreme, but it is what it is, that's totally fine. Um, and also, his super attacks are surprise attack for both the 12 and 18 key. The 12 key greatly raises defense and for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers the enemy's attack. And the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And the passive here is kind of... It's very long and it's a little bit confusing so just stay with me, I'll try to explain it better after I'm done reading it. So basically it's attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% and key plus 2 per key sphere obtained. If 2 or more Fizz key spheres are obtained, all allies attack plus 39% if 2 or more AGL or STR key spheres are obtained. All allies defense plus 39% if two or more tech or int key spheres are obtained. Evade enemy attacks if seven or more key spheres are obtained. All right, so this is a very unique card in the sense that like it does different things depending on what type of key sphere you give him. And um, so for a quick breakdown, just a quick overview. This unit will always have attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained. So they're a nuker, 15% for an LR with their stats is still already like really, really good. That's already going to allow them to hit quite hard, right? But on top of that, if you give them fizz key spheres, so if you get two or more fizz key spheres, that's an additional attack and defense plus 5%. So that's going to be 20% attack and defense per key sphere obtained and also plus two key per key sphere obtained, so you're getting essentially four key, right, per sphere, because Fizz key spheres already give them two key, so if you get it, give an additional two key, that's four key per Fizz key sphere obtained, and uh, that's gonna be, <laughs> that's gonna make it super easy to essentially get the 18 key or full 24 key super off, and uh, if you want to be a support unit, or at least more of a supporter, for your whole rotation, then you can get AGL or STR key spheres for an additional 39% attack for all allies, of course, including this unit. And uh, if you want to give more defense, then you get tech or int key spheres for an additional 39% um, defense, right? And if you get seven or more key spheres, then they also, I believe, guarantee, I think that's 100% to evade enemy attacks. So every time you get seven or more key spheres, they are gonna dodge all attacks that turn. So, <laughs> this is just ridiculous, man. I think as crazy as Rose's passive is, as like busted as that 120% um, attack boost is, I think this unit is even better. Like, I think it's even more busted because the the 20% and then plus two key per key sphere obtained is just stupid. And then the seven key to evade enemy attacks, like basically dodging all attacks that turn, that's that's crazy. 100% chance to dodge, that's crazy. Unless I'm reading this wrong, unless like I'm misinterpreting this, which I don't think I am. Um, that is a 100% chance to dodge, right? After you get seven or more key. And then you can be a support unit if you want, but if you wanna just like do crazy damage on your own, then just get the fizz key spheres and you're good to go as well. Um, this this is an amazing unit. <laughs> it's, just, it's so stupid just how good both these guys are, but especially the Broly, Chi, Lai, and Lemo, man. It's it's nuts, it's nuts. Their links are Brainiacs, Rival Duo, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and their categories are Movie Bosses and Join Forces. All right, so that is the Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo. I am a big fan of both these units. I can't wait to summon for them once the banner drops on JP. I don't know the exact date, but it should be in like a day or two, right? And um, yeah, stay tuned for a video, maybe a stream for the summons. And let me know in the comments down below which of these outliers you guys want the most. Um, because I feel like it's gonna be actually pretty close as far as like the split between Rose and Broly and Chilai and, and Lemo because I think a lot of people are gonna like Rose because it's freaking Rose. I think that's reason enough, but also the animations are really, really dope. Whereas for the Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, I think they are the better unit. So that's why I feel like even though they seem a little bit less hype, I think on the surface. Um, in practice, you know, as far, as far as performance goes, these guys are actually gonna be better overall than the Goku Black, I think. I could be wrong, we'll see. 
But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below which of these LRs you prefer, which one you would rather pull. And uh, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.